Hello, Internet. My name is Ayla Tesler Mabe, and recently, my new puppy George ate my mom's iPhone. I'm not joking. He's been eyeing my guitar picks like a delicious iPhone lately, so I preemptively ate them first, so he couldn't eat them. Needless to say, I have no guitar picks because they're currently in my digestive tract, and I wanted to make a lesson highlighting one of the greatest pickless guitarists of all time, Mark Knopfler. So we're gonna start with a D minor open chord. You leave that D string open, put your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, put your ring finger on the third fret of the B string, and put your index finger on the first fret of the high E string. And then you play C major. And then we're gonna play a very interesting version of a B flat chord, because that's usually a pretty tough bar chord to get down. But you can play it with just three fingers. Index finger on that third fret of the D string, middle finger on the third fret of the G string, ring finger on the third fret of the B string. You wanna avoid the high E string if you want it to be a straight up B flat chord. Though, secret tip, it does sound kinda of cool to leave it in there, but you do wanna just play those three strings. And then, we wanna play an A major chord. And all you have to do is take this shape, slide it down a fret. So we put that all together. D minor, C, B flat, A. So the next thing to do to take it to the next level is add some strumming. So what am I doing? I'm playing up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now, the next thing we can add is a muted smack strum like this. Now, if you're not quite at the point where you can do that, no worries. I don't think you need to have that muted strum in there. But if you want to work towards it, all you want to do is release pressure with your fretting hand so that when you strum, the chord does not ring out and you instead get that kind of sound. And why did I say and? What was I going to say? And of course I am doing this with just my hand, no pick. And that upstroke is with my index finger, downstroke is with my thumb. And then when I do that muted strum, I'm actually using my nails. Cause you can hear in the original, it has this sort of bright texture to it. And I think that's attributed to strumming with the nails like that. If you also wanna be like Guitar George and know all the chords, you can head on over to guitario.com slash trial where we have a full transcription of this song as well as hundreds of other songs that you love. Now let's get back to the playing. <laughs> so let's now learn the chord voicings that are actually used in the song. Instead of playing that open D minor, we can play it as a bar chord. So barring across that fifth fret, ring finger on the seventh fret of the D string, pinky finger on the seventh fret of the G string, middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string, strum from the A string down, and now you're playing a D minor chord. And then we wanna play C major to B flat, and luckily those two chords use the exact same shape. So our major bar chord shape, there are two ways you could play it. Bar with that index finger across the third fret from the A string down, and you can use three fingers like this across the fifth fret of the D, G, and B strings. Or you can also bar with your ring finger. That's personally how I play the chord. And you do wanna avoid the high E string if you're playing the chord this way, just cause it'll turn into a different chord. But either way, in the original, I think the high E string is avoided, regardless of what chord voicing you use. So C major, B flat, you simply move that chord shape down two frets, and then you play A major, same open chord as before, but every so often you can hear that they go to an A dominant seven chord, 
And all that is is an A major chord with your middle finger removed so that the G string is open. I'm sorry guys, I really want to move on to level four, but I need a pick for that. I have no guitar picks, cause they're currently in my digestive track. Oh, hold on. Perfect. So the next thing we're gonna do is add even more finesse to the strumming pattern. This is played with a pick, though you can definitely do it with your fingers as well. So what's going on? First I'll show you how to do it with your fingers and then with the pick. Down, down, up, and then this next down stroke is muted. And then the last two strums are up strokes. Down, down, up, down, up, up. And you can do that for all of the chords other than the B flat. Now, if you play it with a pick, here's a pick. You might want to use a thinner one just because it's a fast strumming pattern and that's usually a good thing to do when you're strumming fast. It's the same. Down, down, up, down. And that down stroke is muted. And then two up strokes. There you go. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add all of the finesse and the lead lines. And I'm just gonna show you five of my favorite licks. So, what's going on there? Firstly, slide from the second fret on the G string up to the sixth fret. And then immediately put your index finger on the fifth fret of the high E string. And then play that G string again. G string, E string. And then put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the high E string. And then again play G string, high E string. And if you can add some vibrato when you play that sixth fret of the high E string, it'll sound even more authentic. And then slide that shape down to the fourth fret of the G string and the third fret of the high E string. And just slide it down um, so your middle finger is on the second fret of the G string and your index finger is on the first fret of the high E string. There's the first lick. So what's going on here? Start by doing a pull off from 10 to 9 on the high E string and then land on the 10th fret of the B string. And then you're gonna slide from nine, seven to six on the G string. And then you do a pull off from seven to five on the D string. And then you land on the seventh fret of the A string with some vibrato. So, this next lick, you're gonna play this very cool triad shape. Middle finger on the second fret of the G string, index finger on the first fret of the B string, ring finger on the second fret of the high E string. And you're gonna slide this up all the way to the ninth fret, eighth fret, ninth fret. And you're gonna move it down a fret and back. And it ends with the 10th fret of the G and B strings. I'm pretty sure those are the only two notes I can hear, but sometimes when I listen to it, I wonder if that high E string is in there really quietly. So maybe you could try to get just a little bit of that note to come in, or you could ignore it completely, or you could full on include it. I think either way, it sounds great.
Such a great look. You're going to start by bending the 12th fret of the B string up a whole step. And you definitely want to get some sweet vibrato on there. And then you're going to catch the 12th fret of the high E string. And then you're going to bring that bend down and land on the 10th fret of the B string. And then you're going to slide up to the 14th fret of the G string with your middle finger. And then use your index finger to play the 13th fret of the high E string. Let's move on to the last lick. That might be my favorite lick in the whole song. You're going to start with your middle finger on the second fret of the G string, slide up to the sixth fret, and then put that index finger on the fifth fret of the high E string. Play that G string again, and then play the seventh fret of the high E string. And then you're going to take that middle finger, slide up to the ninth fret, and then use your ring finger to play the ninth fret of the high E string. And then you're going to slide that up to the 12th fret, playing the G string and the high E string. Then you end by playing the 10th fret of the G string and the E string. And you really want to try to get some vibrato on there. I think that's part of what makes Mark Knopfler's playing so gorgeous. He just has an incredible touch on the instrument. I hope that this video gave you a way to start playing this iconic song, no matter what stage in your guitar playing you're currently at. Let us know in the comments what level you got to, and if there are any other songs you want to hear me break down this way. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day. Woo! <laughs> you can't use that. <laughs>